I'm going to show you how you can scrape any website using an N8 and workflow step by step by using this example where we have a Google Sheets lead list where we have a website for each lead and we send that uh, website to the HTTP request which then extracts the HTTP and then we extract the, only the text from the HTTP or the HTML and we send that text to ChatGPT and ask it to make a personalized message which can for example be used in a cold email and we send that over back over to Google Sheets and we send that into this personalized message row. So we have a personalized sentence for each. I'm going to show you how to do it, but first I'm just going to show you how it works. So when I click on execute workflow, it will now take either, each of those websites in that lead list and it will send it to the HTTP request, get the HTML, extract it, and we can see that now we have a personalized message message from ChatGPT inside of our Google Sheet. So what we can do is we can head over to a new workflow in N8N. We can click on add first step. We want to trigger this manually for this tutorial. And then we want to add a little, uh, let me just put myself over to the left, little Google Sheets uh, node here. Let's say Google Sheets, there we go. And we want to, uh, get rows in sheets and then you just need to connect to your google sheets account which should be really simple you just click on create new credential and then just sign in with google and you are good to go and we can just close this because i have already signed in with my google account and then you can uh, use sheet within document get rows and we want to find the document by using the list leads from n and automation is the sheet we're going to use you also need to make your own lead list if you don't have one let me just turn on my camera again there we go and we want to use sheet one because that is where we had our leads then we can test this step and see what the output is and as you can see, we get now those three leads with the website, which is super important because that is what we're going to use later on in this uh, workflow. So now we can use the HTTP request to make a simple HTTP request to that website. So we can just drag the website over here to the URL. And we want to use the get method because we want to get the HTML. And we can just click on test step again. And as you can see, now we get the plain HTML out as uh, tech, uh, as data from the each of the websites, but this is not really usable to us. So what we need to do is we need to basically extract all of the text that is in the HTML, basically all of the text you, that is visible to you on the website. So what do we need to do here is we need to add some custom code. I will link the code snippet down in the description, or you can just uh, take a uh, a screenshot of it and send it to ChatGPT and ask it to basically write out, write out all the text for you. So I'll just use this code snippet right here. Copy that over here. And then we want to say that we want to run this once for each item. And then we can click on test step and we'll see what we get out from the uh, little code snippet here and as you can see we now get a text which is just the text all of the text from the basically the html so uh, everything that is written in the website which is what we can use for our next next step which is the open ai module or a node so you can just say open ai and we want to message a model and this model is going to be, let me just see, you just need to connect to your OpenAI account. You can also use any other AI, it doesn't really matter, uh, but you can just use, do that by clicking here and adding your API key in here by going to OpenAI's API. And then you can message a model. We want to use the GPT-40 mini. Let me just see, I was on the open router account. You need to be on an OpenAI account. And then we can go over to 40 mini. There we go. And the text is going to be, again, something uh, you can copy from my prompt or you can make your own prompt. Uh, I don't think my prompt is super good. It was just for basically for this tutorial. So this is the prompt I'm using for the system message. So we need to say system and then paste in this. You can just copy this again if you want to just take a screenshot and send it to ChatGPT, ask it to 
writes out all this text for you and you can just paste it in here. Uh, basically, I'm just telling him to um, make a personalized message. And also, this is super important, only respond with a sentence, nothing else, because ChatGPT typically says like, here is your personalized message. And then you will have a that written in your in your uh, column here, which you don't want because you're going to basically use this, the whole, everything that is said in this column in a cold email. So you only want the sentence, nothing else. And for the message, we want to say, uh, just add in all of the text we got from the code snippet, which was the text from the HTML. And we want to say that is a user. And we can now test this step to see what ChatGPT outputs. And there we go. As you can see, uh, your commitment to delivering the dream of home ownership in South Florida, et cetera, et cetera, is, has now taken in all of the text from the each of the websites and made a personalized message, which we can now send back over to our Google Sheets. We click on new node, we say Google Sheets. Again, there we go, Google Sheets. And now we want to update a row. And we want to, if I can just put myself over to the right, we can now choose the same uh, sheet we had from earlier, released from N10 Automation, that's the name of the sheet. And then we want to say that we want to column to match on row number and the row number we can get from Google Sheets right here. So we can drag this into row number using to match. So that we match the same website with the same or the we match the website or the lead with the personalized message. And then we can drag the personalized message we got from the content of the open output, output and place that inside personalized message. Then we can test this step. Now we should be able to get those personalized messages inside or our uh, Google Sheet, as you can see here. So now we can test all of the automation to see that it works as it should. If you now click on save and we say test workflow, we should now get some personalized messages inside of our Google Sheet. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to subscribe and uh, I will see you in the next video.